Hey everyone, it's me, Goose. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cut the crap just up front with you all and tell you what this video is about. This is a video response to MatPat's tweets regarding to cancel culture and the effects it has on its users. So in a sense, this video is directed to MatPat. So MatPat, if you're watching this, hey man, big fan. I, I gotta talk to you about something if you'd like to lend your ear to me. Don't worry, I'm not gonna attack you, but I am going to criticize you and your approach on this presentation you did on cancel culture. You see, immediately after just seeing one slide of your presentation, I notice an egregious error, that being the inclusion of Vedica. I know for a fact that you meant well when you made this presentation. Really, I do. I don't think you're capable of being the horrible human being most people make you out to be. I think this was a simple error on your part. As simple as it is, I still think that the ramifications of your actions, however, may end up hurting the cause that you seem to be striving towards, then help whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Contextually, this was supposed to be a presentation to a big media company, and I'm assuming it was a private presentation at that, so really it wasn't needed to show this to everyone on Twitter, but I know that you were only trying to show the internet that yes, the words we say can have absolute consequences on the lives of others. I understand your intent, but I think you went about it the wrong way. I am fully aware that I only have one slide to go on. You must have had a much larger presentation to show to your colleagues, and I'm sure it's more informed than what you hinted at. However, I think it is worth noting that showing the one slide you have on Twitter has, unbeknownst to you, perhaps, already marked you as oblivious and uninformed, because despite what your slide says, Etika was not the victim of cancel culture, but rather a victim of unrealistic expectations and YouTube's push to roboticize the users of this platform. YouTube has an unrealistic set of goals, and it expects us, the users, to reach those goals in a timely and fashionable order, lest we suffer the consequences. Most YouTubers, I'd argue, a vast majority of us are not companies or brands that are successful enough to employ editors, writers, and artists much like you do. I understand that the general rule of thumb for making it big on the internet is to sell yourself and your channel as a business, not a hobby treat yourself as a brand. However, what I feel many people who spout those ever insightful words of wisdom fail to understand is that before we are brands, we are humans. Desmond was a person who fell victim to the cogs of success. He was crushed by the weight and pressure put on him by the system YouTube had placed him under. He had to lose himself in order to succeed long term in his channel, all the while dealing with a crippling mental illness that was enabled by the system that fed into his mind non-stop. Etika was not the result of cancel culture, he was the result of content culture, plain and simple. Now I don't wish to claim like I knew Desmond, and I certainly don't want to act like the leading expert on this topic. I made a video on him long ago. But even then, that video was flawed and riddled with all sorts of hypocrisies and emotion-filled dialogue. Take of course my biggest critic behind all this, who helped me realize that some of what I said wasn't really that helpful. So I can't resonate with him as a person, because I never knew him. But I do resonate with him as a YouTuber, and someone who often thinks about quitting. Because I want to quit, but I can't, because this pays my bills. Maybe not all of it, but... By God, it helps so much. I am grateful for that, yes, but I can't continue this. Especially the way things are turning out on YouTube, with constant demonetizations, the ever-fragile rules we need to bend our backs over just to get paid, and the animosity I and many others face. Through all of the toxic hate YouTubers face, it is only amplified by YouTube's constant need for content. It is a machine that must be fed, but it's never full. It punishes you severely for working hard and rewards you only if it decides that it's your turn to succeed. Etika is not the lesson of cancel culture gone wrong, but the destructive force that this work environment stirs. But I'm not here to blame YouTube to what happened to Desmond. Mental illness is a thing of its own. But what I am saying is that YouTube is an amplifier of those sorts of mental illnesses and it amplifies only the worst aspects of it. It germinates a seed of doubt, and it, it just constantly grows that seed into something very toxic and hateful, and makes you doubt yourself, and it makes you not want to be you. It makes you want to be somebody else in order to satisfy the you that you think you are, 
when in reality people should learn how to be content with who they are instead of looking for outlets that tell them who they are. Of course, what I mean by that is that they should be content mentally with who they are. And if there's anything that people want to change about themselves, there's always that opportunity to do so. Yet the fact of the matter is YouTube never tells you what you're bad at. It just tells you that you're not getting paid or you're not getting as many views. And of course, there aren't really that many critics here on YouTube, just people who assault you with insults and make you feel insecure about yourself. Very rarely are you filled with people who want to see you succeed and give you an in-depth criticism of who you are. So when you're in this echo chamber that constantly tells you that you're bad at what you do and you're never improving because you don't know what to improve, then you're just left in this empty space where you doubt yourself and you don't know what to do and you have no escape and you don't know where to go. It's best to understand this instead of cancel culture because that is simply an outlet of something else. This is mental illness. That is what Desmond was facing. Like I said, I think you meant well with your initial message, and I know for a fact that cancel culture can be very harmful, but your definition of it is too broad. Outrage culture is more of what you're dipping your toes in, and mental health is something you possibly didn't even consider. But of course, I wasn't there to absorb the knowledge you passed down to these colleagues of yours. Yet I hope you hear me well. I'd suggest watching my video on the toxicity of YouTube and the adverse effects it has on the mentally ill in order to understand my thoughts a bit deeper. But if you don't want to, that's fine. But let me be blunt with you. There are so many things on the internet that can screw you up badly. And I hope to God that you understand that there is a deeper pile of trash to rummage through than just cancel culture. We are people not just content creators who get cancelled. We are not all built to be here, and we don't all have the money to throw around for help. Even if we did, sometimes money can't buy the help that some of us desperately need. Some of us need companionship, love, or even just an ear to hear us and to understand us. Sometimes we need someone to tell us that we'll be fine, or someone to tell us that it's okay to fail and to get back up or to simply just take a break, take time for yourself, and learn to love you. What companies like YouTube and Twitch and several other platforms need to understand is that we're people, we're flawed, and that's okay. We just need support. They should know that, and I hope you know that too. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you all next time. I love you all so much. Goodbye.